So, okay, what made you uh, become an entrepreneur? You told me before a little bit. You told yeah. me that uh, it was because you wanted to go on holidays. Mm -hmm. It was just the only that the only reason. So um, why did you want to have your own business? It's also a lifestyle, right? Uh -huh. um, I wanted to live a lifestyle on my own terms. Uh -huh. Like I, if I want to eat something, I don't want to look at the price. Uh -huh. You know, exactly. I want to go to a restaurant, order the ex most expensive yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there, right? And that's not for everybody. That's exactly. how it's for me. Yeah. But I grew up in a country where it was like we had nothing. You yeah, know? exactly. I didn't have shoes until yeah. I was five. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. we play soccer bare yeah. feet. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. so you, know, you didn't want to feel that. Anymore. Yeah, That's yeah, totally, exactly. totally understandable. Exactly. Man, you know, and and then, the, and then the one thing I also wanted to do is prove people that anyone can do this. Exactly. No matter what color you are, no matter what race you are, where you're from, mm -hmm. anyone can become an entrepreneur. Exactly. You know, because a lot of people from other countries would would kill to come over here yeah. to have this opportunity yeah, yeah. And a lot of people here take it for granted they play yeah. Fortnite yeah, 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 every day yeah, yeah, you know yeah, they're yeah, like yeah. sitting <laughs> in the couch watching Netflix yeah. but while you're young if you're doing that you mind is getting adjusted to that exactly. but you go to a networking event go to like uh, events that's happening around Las Vegas yeah. or anywhere you are yeah. you learn from it and you never know who, is, who you're oh, gonna sure. meet you yeah. know it's... you might meet someone that that's gonna like when he met me yeah you know he, yeah, you know, his life changed because oh, now he has his totally, own business. You know? Totally. Yeah. I always say that like that's very important. Like, people, I always say your life's not gonna change in a week or a month. Mm -hmm. Like you're not gonna become a millionaire. Or you're gonna go become like uh, free. Yeah. But your life can change in a single moment. Yeah. Like for example, his moment was, I did this free photo shoot to this car. Mm -hmm. That literally changed his life. You know, so maybe another person is a decision. Like he took the decision of like, I'm just gonna do this. Yeah. You know, like once like you this, with me I don't know you, but like when I decide to do something, it's like I sign a contract with myself, and it's like I'm doing this. Yeah. It's like I'm not backing up of this shit. Yeah. You know, like because if you back up and you, you you don't even you don't even trust like yourself. Yeah. You know, you're not even confident with yourself. If you yeah. don't feel yourself. Like you're so you know you're savage and you know yeah. you do everything you say you're never gonna exactly do shit, you know? and and if you really look up to someone like I, it could be like someone you really like in uh -huh. business uh -huh. in fitness yeah, right yeah, yeah. ask them hey let me work for you for free for yeah. a year yeah. and that year you're gonna learn more than anything you ever learned in school yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sure, you're man. getting real well, life what do you experience. what do you like before keeping going with these yeah. questions I have here. Uh, interesting to uh, know your opinion. What do you yeah. feel about education nowadays? Like school, like university. What, what, yeah. What's your opinion on that? Do you have so, a degree or anything? Yeah. So I do have a criminal justice degree. Okay. I was a police officer for six months. Okay. I didn't like it. Yeah, as a kid, I wanted to do everything. Uh, you know, police officer, yeah. then become a detective and yeah, FBI yeah, yeah, agent. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was my dream. Yeah, you know? yeah. Okay. But when the reality hit, when I became a cop, it was then what it was supposed to be. Yeah. yeah. You know. Okay. And I recommend going to school. If you really love, if you want to be a doctor, engineer, exactly. just you, not your parents, if you want, then go to school. But I think the highest education you need for business is high school. Yeah. After that, yeah. you know, yeah. you can buy, like I said, educate yourself with courses uh -huh. and exactly. things like that. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I think the same as you. I, I'm a journalist. Well, mm -hmm. last year I dropped out, so I'm actually, I'm actually like a dropout. Yeah. Because I started working as a journalist, and when I saw that shit, I'm like. Fuck that! I'm not gonna be sitting here all my life for like <laughs> a thousand bucks a month, you know. So yeah. I just stop doing that. And I feel, uh, you know, guys, my opinion: that if you if you're passionate about that, like you want to be, uh, you know, a doctor, or you want to be a lawyer, or whatever. Yeah, you need a degree, do it. But still, still, like that doesn't mean shit. You know, yeah. every doctor has a degree, every lawyer has a degree. There's like broke lawyers. There's like billion of lawyers yeah. so what's the difference it's the education that comes after you know they kept educating themselves it never ends it's every day and you gotta be passionate about what you do because your business like rental co you gotta be obviously learning every day yeah maybe yeah. something changes like this trick this trick you know yeah. it's just a constant learning right okay so did your friends and family tr uh, uh, believe that you were gonna make it that's a funny question. Yeah, uh, they, they, when they you, still don't you, believe me. They still know? don't believe you. Yeah, <laughs> they think you're doing like some weird, yeah, like illegal so stuff. My right? dad thinks I won the lottery. <laughs> what? His dad thinks he won the lottery, dude. So my, uh, so I used to hang out. All my friends 
you know, they used to be into cars. Yeah. Like we had like, you know, Honda Civic and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. We put our last money into the car, yeah, buying yeah, yeah. everything, Same right? Like me. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, when I started investing, talking about business, I lost all of them. Oh, yeah. They're like, oh, it's a scam. Yeah. Oh, it's not going to work out. You're yeah. going to lose money. Yeah. But I use, you know, I I wanted to do it for myself. Yeah. As soon as I started making money, they all, f they, they all fell off, you know? I know. Because they didn't believe in me and now they DM me like oh asking for asking stuff. for a handout you know yeah yeah, yeah. so it's crazy yeah. bueno ya estamos dentro de máquinas que se había calentado so this is your office right where yeah. you do everything yes cool. your parties come in <laughs> sweet so um let's let's how what we're talking about we're on um, um okay we're talking about your friends yeah and family yeah that uh they didn't they didn't even they didn't even still don't believe you yeah. nowadays they yeah. think that you won the lottery yeah. and you were talking that your friends you stop being friends with them yeah. and i i relate a lot to that because i tell them like <clears throat> if you want to be successful you're going to be have to be willing to be alone yeah because to be successful you have to be different yeah if if you're surrounded about su around successful people, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. you you have that advantage. But if you're not, you have to detach yourself from that. Exactly, and uh, a lot of people say like you know it's lonely at the top. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But you make friends that are in the same business. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. You you basically go on another level yeah. of friends. Oh, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. That's gonna help you mentally. Yeah. you know, physically yeah, yeah, and yeah, also yeah. like in business wise yeah. too. Yeah, it's, I, I mean, for me, it happened the same thing. Like, yeah. I, I, <clears throat> I'm from Europe, I'm from Spain, mm -hmm. but uh, I totally, my, I, my friends don't have anything to do now than before. Yeah. Actually, but also, you said also, you recommend everyone to go out of their hometown. Yeah. Because they're comfortable there, and I always say the same. Yeah. You have to go out of your hometown. Yeah. To get uncomfortable and to grow, you know, and to yeah. face new, new stuff. Yeah, right? because you know, you're living <coughs> with your parents, you're comfortable. They're yeah. paying your bills and you feel like you don't have to do anything. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, once you get on your feet, move to another city, yeah. you know, yeah, you yeah, feel yeah. like more. Bueno, bueno, estamos aquí al lado, fíjate, al lado de Mo. Tenemos este dealership que es Vegas Auto Gallery. Donde está Mo, su oficina, está este concesionario que se llama Vegas Auto Gallery. Fijaros, coches tienen por aquí un Bugatti. Wow, ¿veis? Si tienen ahí un Pagani. Pero ya no están tentando otra vez los aventadores máquinas, tienen aquí este aventador. Fucking shit, boy. El P P1, ese es el P1, es brutal este coche, es una brutalidad, tío. Este coche seguramente va a 1,5 millones mínimo. Huracán, tenemos por aquí. Huracán, huracán. Ese es un. Ese es un 488. Tenemos otro 488 aquí. A ver, los 458 son más raros que los 488. Otro 4, otro 488. Si tenemos aquí un 570. Como que tú, ¿eh? Ya sabes, máquina, sea lo que sea lo que quieres conseguir en esta vida, si tu sueño es uno de estos, ya sabes, has estado escuchando a Mo, me escuchas mis consejos, síguelos, aplícalos, ponle el trabajo y tú puedes estar en uno de estos en unos años sin ningún problema, cualquier persona lo puede hacer máquinas, no hay excusas. Espero que os haya gustado el vídeo, si os ha gustado el vídeo, dejadmelo saber, dejad un like, suscribiros al canal, ya sabes, si queréis que sea vuestro mentor y os ayude paso a paso a crear vuestro negocio online fitness y generar más de 10 mil dólares al mes y poderos meteros una bestia de estas. Aquí tienes mi página web, mi escuela. Si queréis que sea vuestro mentor y os ayude paso a paso bajo mi experiencia, mi conocimiento, os enseñe todo para que tú también crees un negocio online, manda un mensaje directo sino aquí en Instagram, tu primer millón, o únete directamente al curso tu primer millón que te voy a enseñar paso a paso cómo hacerlo máquinas. Un saludito. Yeah, yeah, yeah.